what are some of the delays that uh, you've experienced that could happen that you could share with our viewers of um, you know some things that might come up from time to time? Well, the most obvious delay in Western New York is going to be weather, right? No, what are so, you talking about? Yeah. So people ask, hey, can you build through the winter? The answer is, yeah, we can build through the winter. It's not a problem. You build in northern countries all year long. It's not a problem. You simply need to treat the concrete uh, when it gets below a certain uh, temperature okay. so that it doesn't it doesn't freeze and crack too quickly. And so it just delays the, the curing time mm -hmm. and allows it to, uh, but no problem. Um, uh, that, that cost is, is nominal. Um, but you know, when we're bringing our modules from our factory uh, to the site, setting them on the foundation, uh, that's a, you know, that day is called set day. And you know those units are by and large completed inside. Mm -hmm. You know drywall's done, cabinetry's in. Sometimes floors are mm -hmm. in. You know the rough electrical, plumbing is in. You know the units are are very well equipped inside. Seventy to eighty-five percent completed inside. Mm -hmm. um, and so that day that we set, we need to make sure the weather's good. Um, it's not raining, right? Sometimes right. we've had this summer we've had a number of projects delay a few weeks because of rain delays. Mm -hmm. And, and then in the winter, of course, you know, it's the same thing. If it's snowing, we're gonna delay it. And then of course, snowing might cause access issues. You know, we have to make sure the, uh, you, you know, the, the roads are plowed in time and, you know, for the trucks to come in and that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, that would be a common example, weather delays. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, it's not just, well, you know, it's not just the next sunny day that you can schedule. You got to schedule your set crews. You got to schedule, right. you know, the the delivery drivers. Oh, your people. And so that can be a stress point for people mm -hmm. when they say, when we when we tell people, hey, we've had a weather delay. We can't set on Tuesday. Um, we're going to set in a week and a half. Mm -hmm. And and people sometimes take that badly. Right. Um, hey. Uh, you know, you can't set Tuesday, but Wednesday's free or Thursday's yeah. sunny. It's going to be sunny all next week. We know that, right. of course, but we're you're, aware you're of that. There's, but there's, there's just a lot of moving parts. To, there's a lot of moving yeah. parts, okay. right? We got to schedule mm -hmm. with these other people that now right. we've got to look for their next available day. Mm -hmm. um, sure. So there's that. That's a that's a typical delay. You know, another delay is is just dealing with inspectors. You know, mm -hmm. city inspectors, building inspectors. Sometimes we're completed a project. Uh, we have a number of projects that are, are completed currently, and um, the certificate of occupancy is delayed on a couple of them, um, just because you're dealing with a, a building inspector that you know may have additional requirements that weren't anticipated, um, and, or and you have to deal with that. Maybe they're on vacation, or all of these scenarios that. Might come that up. happens. That happens. We're building on the uh, on the Native American reservation, and we have uh, a number of builds going there. And uh, one of the building inspectors was on vacation; has been on vacation for a few weeks, and so things get delayed. Oh, a few right? weeks. That sounds really nice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, All right, but and then customers might call and say, "Well, you you need to get a, where are they staying? Where? Let's go get them on the phone. I need to get in my house tomorrow. It's hard to wait, right? As as the true. customer, yeah, it's hard because to you wait. see a bit, you know, because you might see a foundation that's poured, right, ready for What's a set, and it might be two weeks before anything yeah. gets set. So, but what about know, with the utility companies? Do you? Utility companies as well can be okay. can cause can be cause for a lot of delays. Um, you know, getting you know getting uh, your meters put in, mm -hmm. you know, from the utility companies. Getting those inspections can be, you know, can be um, can can be cause for delay as well. Uh, in fact, that's probably one of our most frequent causes of delays are utility installations. Typically, the house has got to be on site and uh, erected, you know, before we can order those feeds. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of moving parts when you build a house. There really are. I mean, it's you, you're yeah. building something on a site that's never had a house. Typically, it's never had a house since the beginning of time. Right. And you know, this house is going to last for, you know, literally hundreds, if not thousands, of years. That's how well these houses are constructed. And um, and so, yes, it's very fast. Yes, it's very efficient. However, there's still is the construction management side of mm -hmm. uh, the project. Even though it's modular, it's still construction management. You're still dealing with contractors. You're mm -hmm. still dealing with employees. Mm -hmm. Life happens, people's car, cars break down. 
Um, you, know, you have scheduling conflicts with contractors, right. and especially uh, today. And uh, what are we? October, uh, October second, yes, two thousand eighteen. The construction industry is so busy right now. Mm -hmm. Everyone is maxed out. It's not just the construction workers. It's the engineers and the architects. Uh, these people have backlogs as well. Mm -hmm. You know, third-party approval uh, processes. The um, you know the, the state that has to stamp the the prints. Um, you know these. Uh, you know when the construction industry is slammed and, and 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 there's so much demand. You know everyone is a little bit taxed, and so right. the um, you know so it, it things slow down a little bit, and so you know it's. It's, it's what makes modular great, mm -hmm. but it, you, know, you also have to be a little bit reasonable um, mm -hmm. sometimes, I think, with delays, that kind right. of thing.